Matt, a, a difficult afternoon today. What have you assessed that? Right? Probably difficult is a, an understatement, to be honest with you. Um, look, the first half performance was, was below par, um, and we paid the price for that in relation to the scoreline. We had a, a glimmer of hope in relation to the start of the second half, as the half, second half was going on. But then to obviously miss the penalty um, and lose Jacko to injury and then go down to 10 men, which was basically nine and a half men because of Nigel's injury as well, uh, made it a really difficult one to take, but just a, a hard watch for the last 20, 30 minutes. I still wanted to win the game, I still wanted to get back in the game, but with the bodies the way they are right now, uh, we couldn't afford to, to lose Nigel for a longer period than what he's already going to be out for. And we couldn't sacrifice any more legs in relation to that. So our focus quickly turned to Tuesday night. Um, that doesn't make up for that first half performance. So we put ourselves in, in that position. Let's digest some of the moments you said there. Uh, Jack Sparks, initially it looked like I thought he just located his shoulder, but I've seen him earlier, oh. now looks like it's a, it's a collarbone. Collarbone, yeah. Um, it, it, I would suspect a fracture of some short. Some, some short, short. Um, it's, it's disappointing to lose another player, um, to lose Jacko when he was probably one of our brightest sparks today. Um, in, in relation to his game, he was a constant outlet and a constant threat. But that was a, an example of the way their game was. They were close enough to tackle him. They were fierce in that tackle. Whether it was a foul or not a foul, I'm not. There was no malice in it, but it was a tackle. He never really laid a glove on the opposition for 45 minutes, um, and that was my biggest complaint. And that's all I asked for at half time. Don't think too far ahead. Just win the next individual battle. We would start to win one, then we win two, three, four, and then we started to get a little bit more ball and a little bit more joy. And you know, we, we won the penalty, and you, you're hoping it goes in, but the penalty sums us up soft, absolutely soft. You mentioned you made the change last time. Harry Kite came on. He, he looked quite lively. Well, he just didn't need more energy. I just felt Tim and, and Nigel didn't quite have the energy, and, and I can include MJ in that. We, we, we were toothless in attack. Um, anything we did get came back with, with interest, and that kept on landing to the opposition players. So, you know, Kite is another plus on the back of Tuesday night's performance. Um, but this group of players are a little bit weak in certain areas at the moment. Obviously, if we lose Nigel, which it looks like we will on the back of Jack and Jonathan's suspension, then but we're lighter again. Um, but if this is the lowest we are at this point in this season, then we've just got to regroup and get stronger and make sure we go to Barrow and, and be as competitive as we possibly can. Those injuries you mentioned there, obviously the COVID cases, I imagine you just feel like the world's against you at the moment. Well, no one feels sorry for you in football. Like, no, I mean, didn't feel sorry for us. Um, I'm pretty sure that when we started the game, the players were mentally in a pretty good place on the back of two draws, whatever their performances were. Um, they were, certainly weren't like, weren't like that first half. Um, but it was just a, a toughness, which is what I felt. We didn't get to those balls first. Um, it also stemmed into our attacking play because we couldn't pass the ball, we couldn't throw the ball. We, we barely kicked the ball properly or passed it properly in that first half period. So, you know, if you're going to do one thing really well in, in League Two, it's get to the ball first and, and be a little bit more physical and demanding of yourself in those moments. And it, we paid the price in relation to the scoreline at half-time. And the ironic thing is we felt like we could get back in the game and a bit of belief quickly sapped out the moment we missed the pen and went down to 10 men. And I'll back to, to Jack Sparks again, obviously, before he came. He's probably our brightest player. Yeah, he's our best player. Um, real space on, on that side of the pitch. He was outlet. He looked like he had the beating of their, their full-back. Um, so that's a, that's a, I can't hide the fact that's a big blow, um, but so is losing Jonathan. When we lose Nigel, that's going to be a big blow as well. So, you know, it, it, they keep adding up, but I can't have excuses. You know, every club's going to go different stages for the season. Ours looks like it's going to be at the, at the start of this season. Um, but we hope that Alex will come back into the fold at some stage this week. We hope Sam Nombe will come back into the fold at some stage this week. And then if we were ever questioning whether or not we, we could or needed to go into the transfer market, we have to do it now. We can't be minus another three players. There's nearly 700 fans here today who are going to be going home disappointed, but even at 3-0 down, they didn't pop Oh, no, they, they were, along with Harry Kite and Jack Sparks before the injury, they were the, the only bright part of the day. Um, we saw them before the game. I spoke to a couple in the, the Olympic Park where we were staying. Um, they were so positive about what this team's trying to do this season and what it's working towards. Um, but that positively will still quickly turn. They won't stick with us too long if we play like that, certainly in that first half performance. I, I didn't feel that was us in any way. Um, and we can blame personnel, we can blame COVID, we can blame injuries. They're all excuses. Um, if you're on that pitch, there's a certain element of pride in relation to getting to that ball first. And whether it's, it's a, a tactical aspect of the game, it certainly wasn't. They were just a little bit sharper than us today. Obviously, focus now in terms of the barrel on Tuesday. Yeah, absolutely. Let's be honest, the, the focus, as soon as Jonathan was sent off and Nigel was in the state, was, and I've just said, I, I didn't want to play the last half an hour of the, that game like that, but we had to concentrate on what was next. Um, we can't afford to lose any more in our legs, let alone any more through injury. So, um, disappointed again with, with the third goal because that was another 
extra bit on the scoreline, which we didn't certainly didn't need. Um, but in terms of some of the players on the pitch, like I say, Harry Kite getting stronger and stronger again, and he'll get his opportunity now. You know, it's, every time there's injuries, I keep saying there's opportunities. Um, but players have got to take opportunities, otherwise they'll they'll find themselves short of the level. Matt, thanks a lot. No problem.